Hey everyone, it's Kyle at Prolux, and in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the Prolux Storm for your rainbow vacuum cleaner. When you get your Prolux Storm unboxed, you're going to have a few things in front of you. You're going to have the carpet shampooer, the hose handle, the main wand, and the carpet cleaner solution. So now I'm going to assemble the Prolux Storm. I'm going to start by taking the main wand. On the bottom, there's going to be this button lock. You need to put the button lock facing towards the front of the unit and go ahead and insert the main wand into this pivot. You'll know it's in when you hear the button lock click. Once you have the main wand connected to the unit, you're going to take the carpet shampooer's power cord and feed it through the top of the wand. On the top of this bracket, there's going to be a hole. So make sure you feed the cord through it. And once it's in, go ahead and push the cord into place. Once you have the carpet shampooer's power cord through the top of the main wand's bracket, go and take your hose handle and plug that into the top of the wand. You might have to push this button in for it to go into place. Once it's all the way in, you can see the button lock protruding through the hole and the hose handle will be connected to the carpet shampooer's power cord. Now that we have the Prolux Storm assembled, I'm going to show you how to fill the tank up. If you turn the tank around, there's going to be instructions and the instructions read, one lid full of shampoo solution per tank of water for light shampooing and two lids full of solution for dirtier carpets. I'm going to fill a tank up three-fourths of water. I'm going to add two caps of the solution since we're going to be shampooing dirtier carpets. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the cap. I'm going to fill it up three-fourths. And now I'm going to take the solution and add two caps full. Once you got the solution added to the water, go ahead and put the lid back on and screw the cap back on the tank. Like so. Now that we have the shampooer tank filled up with the water and solution, I'm going to show you how to connect the storm to your rainbow. A quick helpful tip, um, go ahead and take your tank and shake it to get that solution going in there. I'm going to go ahead and put the tank back on shampooer. Now that we've got the tank back on, I'm going to show you how to set everything up. Go ahead and take your tool hose. Make sure you use your tool hose. This is safe for water pickup. If you use your main electrical hose, you might have some electrical problems within the hose. So go ahead and take the main hose, plug it into the front of the vacuum. Take the top of the hose and plug that in the back of the hose handle. You might have to push this button down for it to go in all the way. Give it, push it in there. Make sure the suction release valve is closed so water doesn't come out. And then go ahead and take the hose handle cord. If you have your twisty tie on there, go ahead and twist it off. Okay, so now that you have the twisty tie off, go ahead and take the hose handle power cord and plug that directly above the tool hose. Like so. I have a really good opportunity to test this product out. I have a four month old puppy, her name is Rosie. She's been having a few accidents on the carpet, so I'm gonna show you how the Prolux Storm works. Now that we have everything set up and ready to rock and roll, I'm gonna show you how to turn everything on. But before I do that, there is a button on the bottom right of the unit. If you press it forward, that's gonna be used for tile and it'll disperse less water. But if you push the back side, it's going to be used for carpet and that's going to disperse more water. So keep that in mind for whatever you might be shampooing or cleaning. So now that's all said, let's turn everything on. So before I turn everything on, I just want to make a quick note that the main wand that comes with your carpet shampooer is extendable. So whether you're a short or tall person, you may have to extend it to a height that is comfortable for you. To do so, there is a large black button on the front of the wand. Go ahead and push that in and then pull the wand up to a height that is comfortable for you. Right there is pretty comfortable for me, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, on the top of the hose handle, there's a red button. You need to press that forward to the eye position. Once that's the eye position or on position, go ahead and turn your vacuum on.
All right, so I just finished up shampooing my carpets with the Prolux Storm. If you notice a lot of excess water on your carpet or it seems soaking wet, I'd recommend going over those spots with the hose handle switch off. The Prolux Storm will just use the suction from the vacuum to pick up all the excess water. Uh, when you're done shampooing, let them dry. Um, go ahead, check your water bowl too and see how dirty your carpets were and then dispose of it the correct way. My carpets were pretty dirty due to the dog, but thanks to Prolux Storm, they're looking clean again. All right, everyone, that's gonna sum up this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. I did forget to mention one thing earlier in the video. This whole video will apply for the D4 models all the way up to the black. The only difference is gonna be assembly, but if you check out your instruction manual, it'll have everything in there to get you set up and ready to rock and roll. If you guys have any questions regarding your Prolux Storm or any Prolux products, send us an email at service at proluxcleaners.com and we'll get you taken care of. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.